to be short, fat, and ugly, but the pay sucks. <laughs> Damn. If you had to choose a slow searing ride on Satan's carousel or watching helplessly by as your best friend got it on with your lover, I'm Todd McFarlane, creator of Spawn. <sighs> oh, I know we're gonna watch. Spawn is a movie that's near and dear to my heart. Back in the 90s, I used to collect the comics, toys, and when I heard there was a movie coming out, well, I just about shit my diapy. <laughs> this is just a great 90s movie, just so 90s, and it really is, it just got so much potential, but it didn't, oh, it was so close, it wasn't quite there. The ultimate wasted potential. Government assassin Al Simmons is killed after being double-crossed by his boss, Jason Wynn, in what was supposed to be Al's last job. After being burned alive, Al is sent to hell where he makes a pact with the devil to lead his army if he gets to go back to Earth and see his wife. But obviously, the devil pulls a fast one on him and sends him five years in the future as a walking corpse. So the plot then becomes a kind of incoherent comic book caricature when you find out the bad guys are actually planning on taking the world hostage with a deadly virus that they have the only cure for. But hell sends the violator to make sure to double cross the bad guys and kickstart the apocalypse. Very comic booky and cheesy, but just the way we like it. So as you can tell, very comic book stuff. And you know, speaking of the bad guys and their plot, how'd you like that with, uh, with them playing with the insects in the room the first time we meet them? These villains are very on screen. They're just exude comic book villain. They're just, very, it's very heavy handed when it comes to just how bad they are. There's literally no confusion who the bad guy is in the room. Oh yeah. Be it, be it like spandex spy suits or like, you know, playing with a tarantula while they plot the murder of the whole globe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So our titular character Spawn, well, he's just Spawn. He's the ultimate bad guy, good guy. He's super overpowered in the comics and as you can see in this movie, it's no different. He has a crazy arsenal of superpowers at his disposal, and every time he uses one on screen, you just love to see it. It gets goofier and goofier by the minute. Damn. John Leguizamo plays one of our favorite characters, I think, besides, of course, Spawn, is the Violator and Man. He really kills the role. True, true Citizen Kane moment for him, I think. Someone's a little angry because they died and went to hell. Oh, my mutant. Hello, my carcass. Hello, my fucking best dead corpse. Did, like, Satan send you guys? How come God hogs up all the good followers and he get all the retards? I love it. I love John Leguizamo. He just nails it. Really killed it. Really killed it. Funny, funny. He's our man. If you can't kill him, no one can. Yay! Funny. S to the P to the A to the war. S to the P to the A to the war. Go funny. Now, I don't know how much money they had to pay Martin Sheen to be in this movie, but uh, they got him, and he plays the main bad guy, Jason Wynn. Um, He's Martin Sheen, so he, he did a pretty good job. I mean, The director said, just say some, uh, just say some bad guy mumbo jumbo and squint a lot at the camera. Sounds good to me. She checked all those boxes. We even had a beautiful Apocalypse Now uh, meta joke in there at one point. We, uh, yeah, let's, let's, check it out. let's check it out. I was counting on Spawn killing you, then you would get his soul and kickstart the apocalypse now. Can't trust anybody. Now, the reason we say wasted potential with this movie, it really is a solid flick. This is a movie I highly recommend, but even for the time, the CGI is just so dated. I, we can't, we, we were laughing the whole time whenever like the scene was supposed to be sort of serious. You just could not take it serious. So all of Spawn's powers are special effects. Uh, you've got the fruit roll up cape, his iconic cape, but they just made it look awful in this movie. Uh, Spawn's micro surgery where he takes the bomb out of the bad guy's chest. She just gets that power of nowhere, but it looks really stupid. Uh, he had a lot of powers where he would make chains kind of come out of his chest area. The and they would chains. just, and uh, the spawn cycle 
the well, he spawn wraps, cycle. He wraps his cape around him in the in the chase, the vehicle chase scene, while he's on a regular motorcycle and turns into a spawn cycle, and it's just that was pretty cringy. The idea was there. That's like one of those the spider cycle. That's like a toy. It was just made to make a toy, you know. <laughs> You know, it's a very supernatural movie. Obviously, we're dealing with hell and kind of like this weird good guy heaven. The element. necroplasm. Right. So they have necroplasm, which is whenever it's shown on screen, whenever something has that potential, it glows this really cheesy, poorly edited green, like, glow. It's just... All right, you overgrown gecko. Come on, get your throat cut. <laughs> This movie had a lot of transitions, huh? Everything is just a comic book transition. Burn away, uh, the crosses turning into streets. I mean, just, oh, it was so cringeworthy. It was so cringe. <laughs> Most of these special effects are forgivable. It was a cheesy 90s movie, you know, it wasn't all that bad. They had a lot of good parts. Uh, Violator, when he's fighting Spawn, it all, you know, some of it looked really good. But there's just one that could not be redeemed, and that's Hell. Every time it came on screen, it just annihilated your optic nerves. It really was just seizure-inducing and nightmare fuel on how bad it was. And, and I feel like they made a poor choice. You know, we, we, we went to hell a couple of times just for exposition's sake, I feel like. And then at the end, we had a big, complicated fight scene. And man, boy, did I not know a single thing that happened. If you won't lead my army, then you must die. Never! Really, Spawn, in all honesty, was not that great of a movie, but it had great moments that do make it a must-see, I think. Really, it does. You know, you have Spawn and Violator that really carry this movie. These two characters carry the movie on their back. Um, if it wasn't for this weird bad guy trying to destroy the world thing, kind of focus more on Spawn's humanity, I think maybe we would have had a better story going on. So overall, great movie, shitty special effects. If you've never seen it, definitely deserves a watch. So check it out.